Let's talk about how we could divide a fraction by a whole number. So what is 2 over 3 divided by 5? In order to find the answer, we need to convert 5 into a fraction. We could do so by putting it over 1. Next, we could use the expression keep change flip to divide the two fractions. So we're going to keep the first fraction the same. We're going to change division to multiplication, and then we're going to flip the second fraction. So now we can multiply across. 2 times 1 is 2. 3 times 5 is 15. So the answer is going to be 2 over 15. Now let's do the same for the other, the next problem. So 4 fifths divided by 3. We're going to convert 3 into a fraction by putting it over 1. Now using keep change flip, we'll keep the first fraction the same. We're going to change division to multiplication, and then we're going to flip the second fraction. So now let's multiply across. 4 times 1 is 4. 5 times 3 is 15. So the answer is going to be 4 over 15. Go ahead and try these two examples. 8 over 9 divided by 4. And 12 over 7 divided by 3. So let's convert 4 into a fraction by putting it over 1. Now let's keep the first fraction the same. Let's change division to multiplication and let's flip the second fraction. Now for this one, notice that eight is divisible by four. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write eight as four times two. I'll leave the nine the same. Notice that the fours can cancel. So what I have left over is 2 times 1, which is 2. And I only have a 9 on the bottom, so that's going to stay the same. So the answer is going to be 2 over 9 as a reduced fraction. Let's do the same thing for the last example. So 3, we can write that as 3 over 1. Let's keep the first fraction the same. Let's change division to multiplication. And let's flip the second fraction. So now before we multiply across, notice that 12 is divisible by 3. So I'm going to write 12 as 4 times 3. And we could cancel a 3. So multiplying across, I have 4 times 1. When you cancel a 3, there's a 1 here. So you have 7 times 1, which is 7. So the final answer for this one is going to be 4 over 7. By the way, for those of you who don't like cross multiplying, like canceling these numbers, if you were to multiply across, you would have 8 times 1, and here 9 times 4, which is 36. 8 over 36 reduces to 2 over 9. You could divide 8 by 4 and 36 by 4. 8 divided by 4 is 2, 36 divided by 4 is 9. So you would get the same answer if you did it that way. So the same is true for this one. If we multiply across, we'll have 12, and 7 times 3 is 21. Now to reduce the fraction, we need to divide the top and bottom by 3. 12 divided by 3 will give us 4. 21 divided by 3 will give us 7. But canceling out this way just makes it a lot easier. But both ways will give you the same answer.